Well, hello and welcome to, <laughs> and welcome to this exercise. Um, there are quite a few ways of, of doing this. Uh, you can do it by drawing a graph or you can do it by simultaneous equation. But I've chosen to do it by um, uh, graphics, if you see what I mean, as opposed to a graph. Um, and I hope it makes sense to you. Next slide. Right. And uh, this is our project. Now, I'm going to use graphics to try and illustrate what I'm doing here at uh, some stage. Right. Now, John and Leslie left home at 10 o'clock there. And John walks at four kilometers an hour. Leslie walks at three kilometers an hour. And at ten fifteen, their dog Dexter leaves room, leaves home, and runs after John. He catches up with John and then turns around to say hello to Leslie. We want to find out what time Dexter meets Leslie on his way back. Right, ten o'clock. And I'm, oh, I'm going to rely heavily on this um, triangle, the distance speed time triangle, again, as before. Right, at 10 o'clock, Leslie, sorry, John in blue and Leslie in red. So John leaves home, and at the same time, uh, Leslie leaves home. And because John is walk, walking faster than Leslie, he will have covered more distance than Leslie. So at 10.15, John had covered uh, speed times time, which is four times a quarter, that's one kilometer. Now, this is important. So, you do, you do one kilometer in every 15 minutes there. Right. Meanwhile, Leslie, <coughs> Leslie had covered three times um, one quarter, which is three quarters of a kilometer. Right. Now, at 10.15, Dexter, the dog, leaves home and runs after John. Now, by the time they meet up, John will have covered another, another X kilometers. And because Dexter is running at the speed of one and a half times that of John, so Dexter will have covered three over two X kilometers, one and a half times x kilometers so by this time in total john had covered one plus x kilometers which is the same as three over two x kilometers that um, dexter had covered so and we end up with x is equal to two and because we know that every 15 minutes is one kilometer for John. So for two kilometers, that'd be 30 minutes. So X, he covered this extra distance X in 30 minutes, which means that at the time Dexter meets John, the time will be uh, 10.45. Now, meanwhile, Leslie is still walking. And in 30 minutes, she would have walked twice, three quarters, which is one and a half. And if you add one and a half to three quarters, you get two and, two and a quarter. So by the time Leslie, sorry, by the time Dexter meets John, Leslie will have covered two and a quarter kilometers. And the time is 10.45. So in effect, the gap between where Leslie was when um, Dexter met John, that's from there to there in green, that will be three quarters of a kilometer okay now you can do this using this um, the illustration here but I'm not going to do that instead I'm going to use ratios now because Dexter is running at twice the speed at which Leslie walks so if we divide this into three when they meet up Leslie will have walked one quarter and Dexter will have run two quarters. So in total, when they meet somewhere there, Leslie will have covered two and a half kilometers from, from home. And of course, because we know the distance is two and a half kilometers, 
and we know Leslie's speed, which is three kilometers an hour. If we then divide um, two and a half kilometers, which is the distance, by the speed three, we end up with 50 minutes there. And of course, if we add 50 to 10 o'clock, we get 10:50. So Leslie and Dexter meet up at 10:50. And I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. See you again sometime. Bye-bye.